Hey guys, how you doing? Joel Stick here and this time I'm coming up with another video. This is going to be something different from what I from what I have. I've actually just recently purchased this game and it's amazingly beautiful. It's awesome. It reminds me a lot of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing on this game. I just recently started playing this game, so I don't know much about, you know, the gameplay or anything it's different it's been out this game has been out for about two years i think and surprisingly enough this game looks stunning right here on the playstation 4 pro and i have it here ps4 pro now let me show you the settings that i have here just in case you are interested in this now i'm running this on natural picture mode the reason I'm doing this is because, uh, you know, this is not a first person shooter. There's not a lot of like fast piece movements in this game. So my other option when running settings here on the TV is natural. And let me show you the, the expert settings that I have here. So I have my backlight all the way up to 20. Brightness, contrast, sharpness. We don't need more sharpness on this game. It looks amazing. And I think, don't, don't believe me, you know, but I think this game is uh, 1080p. I'm not really sure. Most likely it's going to be 30 frames per second. Now, another cool thing about this game is uh, it's taking advantage of uh, boost mode or beast mode for the PlayStation 4 Pro, just in case if you're using that one. So these are the settings that I have. I have my smart LED. This is usually better for... You know what? Smart LED is usually better for HDR. This one doesn't have HDR, so I'm gonna turn this off. All right, HDMI level auto. Let me see if I change this. Oh wow, normal looks washed out. No, don't use normal. Yes, use either low or auto. Looks pretty good like that. Now, dynamic contrast, I turn it off. You don't really need this. The game is bright enough. So I turned dynamic contrast off and I don't see much of a difference though. I just turn it off. On color tone, I have it on warm one. I feel like this is a good spot. Now standard is too cool and cool is too cool for school. So I just left it on warm one. Warm two is just too yellowish. So warm one still as always is the sweet spot. Now the only thing about this uh, natural mode is that color space, it will stay on native. You can't change that one can't change wow the color space and that's it those are the uh, settings that I'm using to play this game now if I change this to game mode it'll almost look the same watch I'll show you guys right now I almost have the same settings pretty much now the only thing different here will be the uh, smart LED is on high and also dynamic contrast is on high. Also the color space is on auto which I like it a lot. But as you can see the game looks, looks beautiful too. Let's see if I can focus this, there you go. Alright, so the game looks beautiful too as well on game mode but like I said uh, you don't really need the low input lag here. So I'm going to change it to natural. I think natural looks amazing. All right, it's a bit darker, but I like it. Look at the, the colors, they pop out really nice. Really nice how the colors pop out. Now, like I said, this game reminds me a lot of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. So what I'm thinking I'm, going, I'm doing is I'm going to make a comparison between this one and Horizon. And just, just by everything, uh, I'm gonna be checking out textures. I'm gonna be checking out uh, weather. Look at this weather. I'm also going to be comparing the fauna, you know, the trees, the plants, the variety, uh, scenery. There's a lot of cool scenery in this game. And same thing with Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, what else? Water effects. Um, just pretty much in general. You know, I'm not going to be just doing graphics. First off, I don't think it's fair because this game uh, came out years ago. Well, a couple of years ago. And it's not even, you know, it doesn't have any 
any boost in the resolution, any 4K upscaling or anything. I think developers have not done anything regarding this game. And even though, even so, the game looks amazing. That's why I feel like. And just remember, Horizon Zero Dawn came out this year and is 4K, 4K checkerboard. So that game looks Im impressive too, but of course, it's going to look better. Oh, and also has HDR, so yeah. Now this game is running, like I said, I believe it's running at 1080p. I don't even think it's, it's even more than that. It doesn't even have HDR or, or anything like that. It just has the boost boost mode and I will show you what I have here I do have boost mode active I'm pretty sure I do yeah it is so this is one of those games that takes advantage of uh, the boost mode right here on the your PlayStation 4 Pro now mostly is going to help about the frame rate that is what boost mode does so you, as you can see the game runs pretty smooth my horse is Tanima, it's running low, yeah. So I'm, I'm actually going to hunt this griffin or something like that, some kind of beast. I'm, I'm new to this game. I I think I had it before on the, my Xbox and I didn't like it back then, so I sold it. I don't know why I didn't like it, but this game is freaking amazing, guys. I know some of you guys already probably beat it and everything, but... Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. God damn. <laughs> I'm still learning the controller, so don't mind me. I want to talk to an old woman. Look at this, well, these characters. Characters look amazing, lip syncing. Looks okay. You know, but uh, the, the characters that you find here are every, every, everyone has a personality. And it's a backstory and everything, so. There he was. The hell is she talking about? God damn. Man, this girl is crazy, but look at all these details on her face, all the wrinkles. Jesus, her veins. I can still see her veins. <laughs> Not so old Gerald. I mean, he looks impressive. Look at his hair movement and everything. This is what I like about this, this type of games. Even though this game is huge. I don't know how many hours, but I know there's a lot of hours into this game. And it's an, uh, an RPG and there's so much, so much things to do. But look at the level of details of this game. Oh, by the way, I'm running this on a Samsung KS 8500 Series TV. It's a curved TV, so that's why it, it, it may cut some of the uh, around the edges. Truly fascinating tale. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you how this game look on this TV. Um, you know, it's probably upscaled to 4K uh, just to fill up, you know, the, the other the rest of the colors. But originally from source, this game is running on a 1080p. I'm pretty sure about that with a uh, boost mode like i said boost mode only enhances the frame rate just a little tiny bit but uh still even though this game is old it looks amazing so on my next video that's what i'm going to be doing comparing this to horizon zero dawn let's see how how you know all those physics textures uh sceneries how look compare to this game thank you for watching guys I'll see you guys on the next one. I'll be playing more of this game and see how, how good I do. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Joel's out.